If you are new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. And also, thank you for watching my video. Today's video is about ultrasound and how to remove rib shadow. If you are new, I would love for you to stay and be a, become a part of my family here on YouTube. We are amazing. Ask any question you want and I will definitely answer them for you. And if I don't know them, I will research them. So, Keep on watching this video, and I will see you guys at the end with the questions of the day. All right, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so today we are going to be scanning a man, abdomen, liver, right upper quadrant only, trying to teach you guys how to get rid of rib shadow and also find the best window for scanning. I am scanning on a very old machine, However, you'll get my point. So let's get started. Okay, so notice how my patient is positioned. His arms, both arms are up above his head and his torso is opened. I don't never put a towel here, it kind of gets in my way of scanning. Sorry not to show you off, but you need gel. And I use a lot of gel. A lot of gel lets the probe glide and also better resolution on my part, I feel. So, next thing you're going to do is find the direction of the probe. Most companies, ultrasound machines, will have the, a notch on the side that it goes on the patient's right side. So you'll know that your orientation on your monitor is correct. So, hence the little marker here. Um, let you know that it matches the transducer so let's let's get going so right now I'm looking at his left lobe and you could tell that by here's his heart and the IBC is dumping into his heart then as you know don't pay attention to the resolution we're just a lot of hospitals might have an old machine, so you're gonna have to work with that. But um, just know for this, you know, scan or video that I'm doing, it's just to help you guys understand how to scan. Okay, so first things first, when I do in the abdomen, I start with the long IVC, I take it, then I just turn my probe slightly, and then I get the sagittal proximal aorta, and I just follow that down. And then there's your mid aorta here. I could turn my gain down as well. It's mid aorta. And then you're going to go down. And then there's your distal aorta right there. And then after I do that, I go back up and I go turn transverse. So that was in sagittal. Then I turn transverse and get the pancreas. And notice that I'm not able to get the pancreas completely. So I'm going to have my patient take a deep breath in, hold your breath, and even that may not have cleared it up, so breathe all the way out, sir. Breathe normally. Now I'm just going to have you push your stomach out for me. Push your stomach out. For some reason, as you could tell, the pancreas is giving me a better pancreas head in this shot here. Um, but with the patient blowing that gas out or blowing their stomach out, it gives you a better window for the pancreas. So, in a real world, if I was, this is all I could get, I literally, you could breathe normally. Um, if that was all I could get, I would freeze that and right across my screen, pancreas area. So the doctor knows that I'm in that vicinity of the pancreas and I'm not seeing nothing major pop out at me um, and also on my report I will say um, gassed pancreas or limited due to body habitus 
or limited did the did you eat sir yes yes so the patient ate so due to patient eating pancreas is gassed so moving on nine times out of ten the hardest part about scanning a man is they have bigger ribs than women so the plus side of that, do, that since they do have big ribs their intercostal spaces are much larger when as women their intercostal spaces are smaller our ribs are smaller and it gases it really blacks out our screen so we have a lot of shadowing so here just we're gonna pretend I'm going over a rib on purpose. So, so this is the image you're getting. And I'm scanning the right upper quadrant. Here's his, the end of his rib cage here. And I'm right over his ribs. Well, if I'm right over someone's ribs nine times out of 10, I'm going to get ribs shadowing. So what I, what I like to do is move my probe all the way down under the edge of the rib cage. Then I'm gonna have the patient take a deep breath in, hold it, and now that I'm under there, I'm pushing really hard, firm, and I'm able to see the liver without no rib shadowing. Isn't that beautiful? So, you could sagittal, this is the way I scan. Breathe out for me. And you really wanna instruct your patient, take a deep breath in and hold it again, hold it, Hold it. Instruct your patient to do what you want them to do. Because a lot of patients will bleed right out and you don't want that. You want them to have a stable image so you could get the best image quality you want. Breathe out. We're gonna do that one more time. Take a deep breath in. So you see how quick I had him go back to that? Because what if I was looking at something and I didn't want to move my probe? I wanted to stay on that mark. So I wanted that patient to take a big breath in back in and hold it you can breathe normally so I can know where my landmark is and I'm not moving my my probe like all over the board and I'm losing where I was so that's sagittal views take a deep breath in for me again and hold it so I start pointing towards the right shoulder I'm getting the right the highest part of the right lobe and then I'm just gonna scan and you see how slow I'm moving my probe my hand, and everything's just coming into view perfectly. So he did eat, this is his gallbladder, it is contracted. Here's his CBD, right there above the main portal vein. You see his IVC, breathe. So, that is my one key tip for moving away from ribs. You, some, you're not gonna get those images, take a deep breath in, and when you have that patient take a deep breath in, all of your livers, your images of your liver move out of that frame. Well, when we take a deep breath in, all your organs move down. So that's the only reason why we're telling a patient to take a deep breath in, because our organs move down from underneath those ribs. So you're able to get under that rib cage and really scan in depth. So the next thing, my next number two trip, is to trick trick what did i say number two trick <laughs> um breathe normal so say that that's not working that technique is not working going under the rib is just too much some men have a lot of hair on their abdomen that stops penetration so the next thing i'm gonna have to do i didn't discuss this with you sorry i'm gonna have you turn on your left side Yep, perfect. So, have that person, have your patient on their left side, this is called left lateral decubed, and still keep that arm nice and stretched and you're opening up that rib cage um, on that patient. So, over here, now your organs kind of tilt down, they go downwards, they're moving with gravity, right? So take a deep breath in for me and hold it. So now you're able to get a clear view of the liver. Again, this is the kidney. And you're able to scan all the way over to the left lobe. Now, same thing with the transverse view. You're just gonna transverse it, point towards that right shoulder, 
and you're gonna just scan slowly all the way down take a deep breath in again and hold it all the way down so you're going inferior to superior perfect breathe so I'm not nowhere near his ribs over here I'm not scanning now I can see his liver through the ribs but then you see these ribs here they're shadowing down right so that's not giving me my optimal view so I got to find a window on my patient that's going to give me those images I need for the doctor and the only thing that the only two things I do is go under the rib cage supine or under the rib cage left lateral do cubed take a deep breath in for me and hold it so I hope that gave some explanation to how to move ribs out of your range of view. You could breathe in normal. Out of your um, move ribs out of your scanning area. If you if that's all you could get, literally just do what you can. But try these tricks. Let me know if they work for you. And yeah, I really hope you guys appreciate this video or like this video. And if you do, give it a thumbs up. It really helps us out over here a lot. Okay, first I want to say thank you for the Johnsons with love for subscribing. Welcome. Thank you so much. And also to all of my other new subscribers. I don't know if you're new unless you say new subscriber in the comments. But that's how I knew of the Johnsons with love. But I really truly want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for growing my channel and just showing me love here. I truly appreciate it and it does not go unnoticed and I also try to respond very quickly and also just give mention of you know when you guys do leave me a comment I like to comment as soon as possible so let's get into the questions the first question is from so it's not really a question but the comment came from Linda Colquitt um hi she actually says um, she would like to see more OB third trimester and how to scan a head to toe without missing anything. So that will have to come by a patient let me giving me the okay. So it might be a future video, but I would definitely try to do it for you. Um, the question is what is my Instagram? My Instagram is exactly what it here what it is here on this platform. I've got this times two. Um and yeah, I don't I don't think there's any spaces spaces, but if there is just put a space in between each word. But other than that, it's I've got this times two. And the other question was the next question is from Lachelle McCombs and she is asking, Do I know anybody that does echo? I don't know any I do know people who do echo but I would have to really reach out and try to see if I can get in contact with them if you will give me the, like DM me over on Instagram and let me know what you're looking for I could possibly connect you directly to them but just off the top of my head like oh yeah this girl no I don't but I wanted to mention this this question because if there's any echo text that's watching please DM me so I can get you in contact with her I think she wants to submit some images over to you and see you know to see if they're correct or what have you I believe but if not maybe she just wants to talk to you about echo so the next question is from Maj and this video is actually um, inspired for her or by her um, I actually she I read her comment and I definitely told her I would be doing a video about this and it was just like right on point right on track I was able to do it so she wanted to know how to remove um, specifically for the right side how to remove the rib shadow um, off of the liver and things of that so I really hope that this video helped you Maj and I will see you guys in the next video again thank you so much and please subscribe like and share this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye